Don't ignore my question like Jungkook does. <laughs> new here very nice to meet you so I'm back with another video today and a few like weeks even maybe months ago yeah it's been a while I asked people on my Instagram whether or not they had questions about consulting for me and today we're gonna answer those questions before I get into it I do want to let you guys know that if you have any questions for me that you'd like me to answer in this kind of video then definitely follow me on Instagram because that's where I do my Q&A box thingies where you can submit questions so yeah if you want to know anything in particular then definitely follow me there and be in the lookout for these Q&A boxes so yeah let's get into it let's go into our questions so the first question we have is what do you love most about consulting this is a very wholesome question one thing i really really love about consulting is the fact that you're able to get a lot of variety on the job and i'm the kind of person that really gets bored easily i would say so the fact that i'm able to jump from one project to another and work with different teams different industries different companies sometimes different locations as well feels really exciting and i think the learning curve with that as well is so steep which keeps me really engaged on the job so i do like the fact that with strategy particularly you get to change projects every five to six to seven weeks sometimes even like just four weeks or so it's like changing a job almost because you do change teams you change managers you change clients so in that aspect i really do think that consulting offers so much variety and that's one of the things that i love the most about consulting the next question is what do you dislike most about consulting so it goes hand in hand with the previous question i would say that the hours can be quite long but i personally have not experienced any grueling hours i've been very very lucky i think my company culture is very positive in a sense where we actually have have a good work-life balance however industry-wide I do know that consulting does not offer the best work-life balance the hours are long traveling etc demanding work can be a little bit stressful but personally I've had a pretty positive experience but I do know that this does not sit across the board when it comes to consulting I do know that it can be a pretty stressful job at times so that's probably one of the things I would say look out for if you are interested in joining this industry can you explain the different types of consulting? Consulting is like an umbrella term, which just means give advice, right? You can be a consultant in the medical field, you can be a consultant in the beauty field, you can be a beauty consultant. In the business context, I would say that a consultant is anyone who goes into a company and gives advice or provides support in any sort of way. The three main buckets of consulting that I can just, on the top of my head, think of are you know, management consulting, which is probably the most popular one. Then there's tech slash IT consulting. And then I would say that's also probably a bucket for maybe human capital or anything to do with people and processes. So these three are separate types. Some people put strategy as a separate type of consulting to management and some people see strategy as a sub section of management consulting. It, it depends, but essentially there's also strategy, which relates to very high level questions that people ask in terms of where the business is going, how to make more money, where, what markets to enter, etc. So that is a part of, or that is a type of consulting that people call strategy, and that is what I am currently doing. But within management consulting, there's other things like change management, uh, operations, logistics, all of that are, you know, other subsections of consulting which you might want to explore if you're interested in this industry but it does get a little bit convoluted essentially you got to figure out what you like to do and then go from there can you envision yourself as a consultant forever i don't think so and not because i think consulting isn't a good industry i do think it's great but i think a lot of people that go into consulting go into it because it's such a great stepping stone into your career and it is a good entry level job I would say. You get so much exposure to different industries, you learn so much on the job, you build a good consulting toolkit which I think is very adaptable and applicable to other jobs out there and you also get great exit opportunities and a good compensation so I think yeah consulting for most people is a really good stepping stone into their careers but i don't think everyone sees it as a long-term career and i think for our generation as well we don't really see careers as permanent anymore i think we understand that as life changes and as we go through different life stages we adapt to different types of needs and different types of priorities and i think most of us will probably not be in the same job in five to ten years from now so yeah 
do you tend to focus on one project or multiple projects? So I think this probably depends on the company, but I think that the standard is to do one project at once or one case at once. Um, so that's what I do. I go from one client to the other to the other. And sometimes within one client, I'll go from like one project to another project within the same client, but they'll still be separate work streams. So I'll tend to focus on one case at once. I don't do multiple ones. And I think for most people in consulting, they probably do one case at once. Sometimes you do have to spread yourself a little bit thinner and do multiple cases, maybe two or three. But I'd say in my company, at least that's quite rare, uh, at least at a junior level, because when you do go to more managerial positions, you definitely do need to juggle different cases at the same time. I think it's very normal for manager position upwards but as an analyst i definitely only focus on one project at one time um but there have been instances where i had to like do some leftover work from, from a previous project and, and stuff like that how could i best prepare to go into consulting one thing i would say is so important is to start practicing your case studies that was definitely this is only applicable, by the way, if you want to go into strategy consulting. When you go into strategy consulting, most companies will want to do a case interview, which is a very specific type of interview. And for me, it was definitely very enjoyable, but at the same time, very challenging. So definitely start practicing your cases. It's very methodical in a way, so you can't just go in there and wing it unless you're incredibly smart, and incredibly lucky. You can't really just wing it without previous practice so definitely start practicing those there are so many resources out there that you guys can go to for help in terms of preparing for your consulting interviews there's a website out there called my consulting offer which helps you guys get into consulting and mbb type companies so if you guys are interested definitely check them out i'll leave a link down below they're not paying me to say this or anything i'm friends with the team and friends with david who's a founder and he's an ex-bank consultant so i feel like he knows what he's talking about and they've gotten multiple people through the process so definitely check my consulting offer out out. I'll leave their link down below and there's other platforms out there that I know are really good for job prep and consulting prep so yeah use your resources there's so much online there's definitely a lot that can help you out there you just gotta look for it what's the salary like okay nitty-gritty so I would say it depends on what kind of consulting strategy consulting usually pays the best out of all the different types of consulting that are out there and I would say the average in the UK or at least in London for an entry-level strategy consulting job is probably around 40,000 pounds as an entry level um, I know MBBs pay probably around 45k depends on you know the different packages and the different companies but i would say 40k ish is the average some companies pay a lot less pay like 35 some pay 30 but i i'd say like if you're looking into consulting job offer it should at least be over 30k uh, i think that's like probably the minimum and if it goes below that then it's just not competitive with other companies that are out there in the job market um and but again this applies mainly to management consulting was your consulting interview for the big four hard and what are your tips on how to prepare it was to be frankly honest not hard at all but this is only because when i applied to my big four company i already had a little bit of job experience under my belt i was already working consulting for like six to seven months at this point so i already knew exactly what i was talking about so the interview process was actually quite smooth and easy um but it wasn't the case when i first applied to consulting when i was still studying at that time it was very difficult especially when it came to case interviews i feel like for behavioral or fit questions or fit interviews i tend to do quite well but anything that's too analytical i can definitely stress out a little bit in the moment so I think one thing to prepare is try to simulate that kind of environment so that external factors do not affect how you perform and that you actually allow your knowledge to speak for itself and your instincts to kick in so yeah just make sure that you kind of simulate a nervous environment because sometimes you have all you need to to, to pass the interview but when you actually do the interview the nerves kick in and you just don't do as well as you want to so make sure you simulate that kind of environment to fully allow yourself to be prepared when the real thing comes along what's the most exciting interesting project you've been part of so i personally really love pure strategy projects i love projects that are like open-ended questions like what should we do in the next five years what should we do to compete with other industry leaders and i had the opportunity to work in this kind of project a few months ago actually it was a tmt client so tmt stands for telecommunications media and technology and they came up to us and asked us hey 
what should we be doing better what are our weaknesses what are our strengths and how do we position ourselves in the market to gain more clients and i adored that project in terms of the actual work itself i thought the research was really interesting i do enjoy having open-ended questions like this because it allows me to marry the analytical side of my brain and the creative side of my brain and feeding the data analytics into the strategic questions to me is really really stimulating so i i really enjoy that can you do another day in your life you are super pretty by the way oh thank you so much amy and i have filmed a couple other days in my life and I will be filming more vlogs I think I definitely want to steer towards more lifestyle content obviously with a twist of career and consulting in it but I would love to film more vlogs and I am in the midst of filming another one right now um, does Big Four consider applications of those who are not from top business schools but have the potential? absolutely I would say we don't actually only have students or graduates that are from the top schools in, in the UK majority of them are from the top schools but not all of them are from the top schools so definitely it's a big thing right now especially within diversity and inclusion to look into potential students that are not just from these repeated schools that we see all the time as long as you have good work experience good extracurriculars you show that you're adaptable and you show that you have the analytical and qualitative skills to thrive in this environment then you definitely have a chance at getting an offer um, it's just building your profile so that it looks good and it appeals to the recruiter but absolutely you can definitely get into a big four without having to go to a top business school what are target schools in the US and the UK uh, in the UK I would say the typical ones are probably like what you consider the top universities in the UK so obviously Oxbridge you see a lot of Oxbridge students in consulting um, LSE as well as a very uh, strong competitor and strong um, pool of students that come out of that school that go into consulting I think very similar to investment banking as well Imperial UCL any Russell group university actually or at least the top half of Russell group universities they're all competitive target schools for consulting. In terms of the US, I'm not completely familiar with that market because I just, I've never even been to the US, but from, from my research and from what I've seen from friends and stuff, I definitely would say, especially from MBA hires like Wharton, Harvard Business School, um, MIT Sloan, I think Stanford Business School as well. Those schools are very popular target schools. I think Haas as well from Berkeley, their, their business school is a target school. And then every other Ivy League I'm sure would be a really great school. NYU Stern as well. Um, I think the typical target schools you would think of. What's the work-life balance like? Depends on the company, but in short, it's better than finance, better than IB and PE and all of that but worse than tech, worse than marketing, worse than, you know, some other industries out there. How to end up in consulting firm without an MBA? There are like graduate positions for people without an MBA. MBA positions are usually targeted at people who already have a little bit more work experience and are a little bit older. So maybe towards like 27, 28, 29, 30. Um, yeah, I think that age bracket is more targeted for MBA grads. But if you are someone who doesn't have an MBA and you're straight out of uni, you can apply for experience hires, people who have one or two years of experience already, or you can apply straight as a grad or as an entry level. How to move from audit to consulting. Unfortunately, I don't know too much about audit, but I guess if you're working at audit at a big four already, you can build internal connections and find internal partners who are able to vouch for you and are able to do the pushing for you to be able to actually go into consulting. If you're not at a big four, then I would say, or if you don't want to apply to a big four, just make sure that you're able to highlight how your skills in auditing are transferable to consulting. And also I would still recommend you to talk to people who work in consulting who are able to perhaps give you referrals. So yes, try to talk to people in terms of your application and your cover letter and your CV. Try to build on the skills that you think are transferable that you've, you've picked up from auditing that are applicable to consulting. Things like quantitative skills, attention to detail, 
uh, adaptability to different projects, working with clients, stakeholder engagement, that kind of thing, try to highlight those skills instead of highlighting the skills that perhaps are really important in auditing, but not so important in consulting. Do you work within a team or is it more individual work? So every project usually has a team. Sometimes a team is a really small team. So I have been in a team where it's just myself and another consultant. In that case, I'm working with only one other person. There are some of my friends who are in projects where it's just them and then like a partner or a director in which case you probably end up working mainly by yourself because you report to the director maybe like once every two three days and apart from that you're doing the research and the desk job yourself but i think that most commonly you do work with other people and you have like team stand-ups in the morning and catch-ups and meetings throughout the day with other people so it tends to be more teamwork based than individual work so those are the questions for today let me know if you guys have more questions in the comments below i'll try to answer them but i'm sure you guys probably have other things that you want to know so as i mentioned definitely follow me there on instagram so you can ask me questions and i'll put them in the next video if you guys are a fan of this kind of video then definitely like and subscribe to my channel stay tuned and thank you so much for watching bye bye